Okay, there's a program that should be loaded on your computer. It's got an icon right up here. It looks like a letter S that looks like kind of a steel Superman looking S here. And if you open that up, you don't have to open up yours right now if you, unless you want to work on it right away. Uh, you're going to get something called Sculptress. And this is the program. Now, the, what this is a 3D modeling program, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to create two things. You're going to first create some type of an animal, creature, alien type head, okay? But I don't want it to be super simple looking. I want it to be, you know, complex with creases and folds and eyeballs and mouths and lips and things like that, okay? So if you're going to base it on an animal, then find a picture of that animal so you can actually look at some visual res references on what does the animal look like, okay? Now, this is how it works. There's a bunch of tools right here, and if you, if you hold your mouse over these tools, it tells you what they do. This is the draw tool, and what it does is if I click on that tool, and then I go over here, and this is going to determine the size of my drawing tool right here, and this is going to turn in the strength of my drawing tool, and this is what I mean. So if I go like this, you'll see that it's, it's drawing, a, uh, like it's pulling a crease out of that. So the ball here has a split, so whatever you do on one side happens on the other side. Got that? Now, if I increase the strength, it'll pull it out more. See how more dramatic that is now? Okay, so let's say that um, I'm just going to go Control-Z and undo that once. Let's say I wanted to make an eyeball. I could go like so. Now, that's your draw tool. Next is your crease tool. Let's say I wanted to make my crease. I make this size a little bit smaller, and I could make a little dipple or a little crease inside there if I was making some kind of an eyeball. This doesn't look very good, by the way. Um, now, some other things. This is called inflate. Inflate, you can grab this and you can pull it out. So if I go like this, you can actually pull it out. I'm going to increase the strength and I'm really going to inflate it a lot. Now, if I hold my, if I right click, I can turn this so I can see what it looks like from another angle. Do you understand? Okay. So what I'm doing here, let's say I go back to my crease and I make my crease a little bit bigger and I decide I'm going to put a dimple inside there. So you got the idea? So let's say I wanted to make a, a large nose. Oh, by the way, this is the flatten tool. Flatten tool would flatten things out. So if I want to make things a little flatter, you can see how that would look. Okay. Um, if I do like a nose or a snout here, I'm going to go, I'm going to say inflate. I'm going to go with a really big circle. Size is going to be really big and a strong strength. And I'm going to start pulling this out. Now, if I turn it sideways, you can see how that's working. Okay. So I'm going to pull that out like so. Now, once that's out, there's also a tool called grab. Grab is like grabbing the end of this. And um, I'm going to bend it. So you can see I can bend it down or pull it out and do things like that with it. So that is how Sculptress works. Okay. So if I want to give something four legs, I would pull a leg out of here and I could stretch the body really big. So there's a lot of things you can do. But really, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and you can play around with them. At first, you're doing it. You're just learning how to use the tools. And any tool you want to find out, this is the smooth tool. That's the pinch tool. It kind of shows you what it does. Pinch makes a little tight crease. Inflate, draw, flatten, grab. Uh, this is crease. Uh, and then experiment with some of these other things. Can you, you can? There's a bunch of things you can do with this. Okay, uh, there is a way also to let's say you were going to work on let's say a camel. You can make the back. You can bring a background picture of a camel and put it here so you can see it. Now another thing you can do is you can change the material. Right now this is gray. I could go with this, and now my object is red. Um, when you, you could even do this and make it metal. The only problem with the metal, the shininess, is a little hard sometimes to tell it what it looks like. So, so a lot of times I'll save the metal if I want to just make it look like it metal when it's totally done. But look at all the things you can do. You can make it look like glass and so on. I like a flatter surface. It's easier to see what I'm doing, either a yellow or perhaps a red or a gray. Okay. Uh, so what you're doing is you're designing something Okay. in...
with this program. So when you are done with your poster, you're going to open up Sculptress and you're just going to start playing around and trying to get used to it. Got that? So that's all we're going to do for now. Uh, but otherwise, your poster's number one. Make sure that thing is done and it's really good. Then stick it on the jump drive, okay? If it's not done, then just keep working on it. And don't feel pressure like you got to get going on this right away, okay? Any questions at all? That's it.